Hello and welcome everyone into another Amplitude Studios live stream. Thank you all very much for being here. And uh, as you can see, I'm finally back. First time in front of the green screen. Yeah, we both and fit. Look and at you that. Know, luckily, remember this morning to not wear a green shirt. Yeah, my brown shirt, which is actually a humankind shirt. Look at that. You can actually very see that because we're, you know, close enough to the camera. Um, is, but yeah, we, uh, we're, we're having some trouble yeah. because for some reason the camera thought this brown was green. It was disappearing into the green for a second there, so we had to give it a little tweak, but hopefully it's hey, uh, going to stay. At, at least your mustache is no longer dyed blue that turned green. That's true. My mustache is not, <laughs> because not Because imagine you, you're sitting here like trying to set up the green screen, then you look and it's like, you're it's just, just gone. see through. <laughs> I didn't figure out that my teeth like kind of disappear a little bit. I don't know, they're not doing it today. When I was in front of the Endless Dungeon screen, it, they were definitely, like, glowing. Well, you could just see what was behind them, I, I suppose. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyways... Yeah, I mean, I guess you can have some... Get some weird effects with the chroma key if you get it to the right color. Like, oh, yes, this is close to my skin tone, and then you have just, like, your eyes and, and your hair or something like that. Yeah. I'm, dang it! <laughs> I'm trying to grab the freaking captions. Captions, get over here. I was like, where's the best place for the captions? My shirt or your shirt? I think my shirt's a better I, place for the captions. I think your, captions. Your, your shirt definitely because the print on yours is more subtle than... Yeah. Because this is a very obvious humankind shirt as opposed to As long to as yours. it's not on the, like, white of my skin, then it's like, nope, can't read the captions anymore. As, Too as, white. <laughs> as if your skin is <laughs> any whiter than mine. <laughs> oh, God. Both of us here is like, you know... I, I think if we got a, you know... A sheet of, of printer paper from the from HR and held it up between us, then we would have we something would look, wider. Yeah, we would look a little bit tan, maybe, but <laughs> <laughs> we're we're not exactly compared you know, to a sheet of paper. <laughs> yeah, we're not exactly you know like bronzed yeah. bodies. It's like olive <laughs> skin tone. I mean, at least my ginger self. Yeah, was, was <laughs> you at least have a reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me, me, me. I'm just a gamer who never yeah. goes out. You just avoid the sun. I actively have to protect myself from the sun or else I'll I mean, I've, I've definitely, get cancer. I've definitely felt that for a while because of some of the treatments I got. Well, like, oh, That's you're not allowed true. to go out one week before and two weeks after. You know, you, know, you need to avoid direct sunlight. I was like, ah, wonderful. Yeah, that's a good point. Never, never realized how much you'd miss that. Honestly, though, I, I mean, as a redhead, you really feel limited in, like, how long you can spend in the sun. Like, during summer days when I was a kid... Having to constantly remember, like, oh, I need to put on sunscreen again every two hours or three hours, or I'm going to be a lobster by the end of the day. The other kids are just, like, running around, so, so, splashing so, so, in the beach. So, so what you're saying is Count Dracula was actually just a redhead. I guess. <laughs> it's a tough life. It's a tough life always having to, to worry about the, uh, the sunscreen. What's up, Tanky Taco? Long time no see. How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Um... Well, how's everybody doing? It's Thursday. It's six o'clock. We didn't have a very long like entry screen into the stream, <laughs> so yeah, uh, my since, bad. You know, blame the green of the green screen. Yeah. Um, well, it was partially the green screen, but also just like a very busy day. Um. So, anyways. is it ever not? I mean, sometimes it's less busy. I gotta say, there are sometimes when I'm like, you know, I, yeah, I got lots I, of time. Some. Sometimes it feels like we have busy and we have extra busy, but yeah. we never have not busy. Yeah, I mean, because I think there's always more you can because, do. You know, the, except the thing is, even on the days when you're like, ah, oh, there's nothing urgent, then you have all of the things you've been meaning to do for ages that you had to put off because of the urgent things. Yep. My dad taught me about the concept, the tyranny of the urgent. It's whatever's urgent will tyrannically... Uh, take priority and that's often not the most important thing it's just the most yes. urgent thing which is kind of a bummer what's up Rob Zig hello nameless hi hi everybody on YouTube welcome in um, hey hey both of you yeah it's been a little bit I hope you both are staying safe and healthy uh, for the most part I don't think I've gotten sick since like December no the, with, the, the, uh, the, the, the only non-healthy part that you know I'm going to do is you know the whole I need new glasses and I finally had the appointment after like four years of meaning to and various things getting in the way. Yeah. And boy, are the glasses wrong. Yeah. Oh, so these are the new ones. No, the no, new these, these, no, no, these, oh. these are still the old ones. I haven't okay. had time to, to go to an optician yet. And it's definitely... We're going to get new frames. Uh, yes. The, 
but these frames are like 16 years old. They, they okay. <laughs> I was just curious. I mean, no, no, definitely getting new frames, and then also, yeah, the glasses are so wrong, and like I kind of go back and forth between wearing them and taking them off because they're so wrong that it hurts that, your eyes now. That that <laughs> causes eye strain, but not having them also causes eye strain. But because they're wrong in different directions, it kind of helps if I take them off now and then because you know it's a different kind of compensating my eyes do right that makes sense it, it's like you know to to make a different co- comparison i guess you know i'm not constantly holding it out straight in front of me you know i put a different strain on the muscles right that makes sense i, I get i get that analogy it's a good analogy welcome in pete welcome thank you so much for being here uh i missed the beginning what about the staying out of the sun uh we just <laughs> we were joking about our, how our how skin we are, is so well, you know, white that you can't see the <laughs> captions very well. Um, so the, the only like thing, move my the only up, thing whiter read. in the screen right now is the human guide logo on my shirt. <laughs> yeah, and then we were talking about how it's actually it's actually a hard life having to wear sunscreen and not being able to play with your friends out in the sun because you have to go back inside and put on. And, more and sunscreen. I guess you know it's especially bad when you grow up in place like you know Utah where there's not exactly a ton of trees around for shade I guess yeah well I mean I grew up in Oregon I, I moved to Utah when I went to college but uh but in Oregon it was the beach so uh, we were yeah, always of course, at the in beach. Oregon you're always on the beach there's and, no trees there and then and it's just yeah I had one really bad sunburn which I'm probably gonna get cancer now but uh, uh but I had one really bad sunburn where we went crabbing and with crabbing it's like an all-day event because you go out and you put the lobster or not the lobster pots, the crab pots. You put the crab pots down, you put a bunch of I don't know dead fish inside of it, and then you just leave it there for like a couple hours, and then you come back on a boat and and, and then you pick ob- them up. Ob- check yes, it. Obviously, the goal is not to be the color of the crabs at the end of the day. Unfortunately, I was though, and uh, I peeled for weeks after that. But yeah, this this is one of those things that I noticed with the you know the whole oh you're not allowed to go out into the the, the sun before and after this treatment. How much your skin is used to the sun? Because after mm. like a few months of that, I was just sitting on the balcony doing some some airbrushing on my models, and for like an hour, the sun was still peeking around the corner of the house and hitting me on the arm, and I was red as a lobster after that. No way! That's just crazy. just because of was because of how pale I had gotten over not going on yeah. in the sun. No, I I like in the summer when I get a nice healthy healthy glow to myself. I just feel like. Yeah, I mean, less, I'm, I'm exaggerating less, a bit like with the with the oh red as a lobster, but it was definitely it was clearly sunburned. Yeah, I get that. Uh, what's up, Doctor Kane? <laughs> Welcome in. I definitely haven't seen you here in a while. You look well. Heck yeah. Yes, I. I mean, f- last week I was on vacation. Why was I in London here the week before? There was something else. I don't remember, but th- there was some reason. <laughs> I think we. I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, have I ever owned a pair of Jordans? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, in fact, I've never been on a basketball team. And uh, I feel like the only reason why I would have a pair of Jordans is if I was a basketball player. But I was a soccer player, a.k.a. football. Um, and so, no. Nope. I had a couple of pairs of Pumas. But that was about it. No Jordans. I don't think I'd ever even wear them, to be fair. I don't know. They're really like tall. They're supposed to protect your ankles, but I think I prefer like the high top look, you know, like some Chuck Taylors, some nice Converse or like uh, some Vans. <laughs> Between your vacation and Jordan streaming from home, there's been a few weeks without you. Ah, yeah. right. That that was was what it was because but of the strike. We were streaming from home, so it wasn't on camera. You weren't on camera, but you were still on the call. Yes. Now, now, now I remember. What's up, Oscar? My, my memory is about as bad as my skin is pale. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, uh, I think... Anyway, that, I think it's about yeah. time we switch to the game. I was like, stuff. I'm feeling like we should get into a game. Um, but I just wanted to kind of like leave a little bit of time for people to come in since we... Yeah, no, of course, it's good. good had into, that, since, <laughs> since we do have... We're not getting into the game yet, actually, since we have something else to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we have a couple of a couple of things to chat about. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on um, social media recently about when's our next DLC, when's the next expansion. We don't have any official dates or anything for that, but just so you know, just so all the home, the folks at home know, we are working on yes. more content still for the game, so we will let you know and when you know, the time comes. 
and of course, you know, stay tuned on our usual channels because that's where we will also tell you about mm-hmm. the updates and the free content. Which, of course, we're gamers. We know how it is. Many times the free content is what you really care about because you're like, this is the stuff I get immediately. The other stuff, you know, I can look at and buy later. Yeah. So... Which, uh, Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So basically, there's that. And then also, if we just pop over the game here, um, one of the things that you might have noticed when you hopped into Humankind recently, and if you haven't, this is for you. Um, there is this lovely little text that you can read yourself. Um, but basically, there is a survey uh, that is built into the game right now that we'd love for everybody to take. The game sounds are really loud. Well, that is probably because relative to how close our mic- our mouths are from the uh, microphone, it is probably a little loud. Okay. But well, this w- in, in any case, yes, the, the survey. I haven't actually, you know, taken it because obviously, you know, me being part of the company, I'm not sure my data is relevant. <laughs> but um, I think it actually it pulls up the, the like, in-game browser that is usually used for the interview. Okay. So that, you know, you get the server here, and then it's, it's uh, again, to, you know, get your, your feedback on what you think about the game, what you think worked well, what you think didn't work well, and all of that, because obviously we're interest, still interested in improving the game, and there may, there are things we can address and change, there are things we can't address and change, but even if it's something where we're like, yes, the, the like, the core of the game, where it's programmed, can't handle this suggestion, which sadly happens sometimes then it's still important to hear about this so that we can know about this for any future projects to work on so that you know, we take it into account early enough because uh, case in point uh, an example with the, the pollution system I've often seen players say like oh there should be more effects you know global warming and, and the tiles should transform and become dry and infertile and all of that and we're like yes that's a really cool idea that our engine can't handle. So we basically have to start all over. And that obviously is the kind of thing where if we know that the players want this, then in the future we can plan for this. I like that. Uh, we were just making sure the audio was good. It, it doesn't help that this song is like the loudest song in <laughs> oh, the game. Oh, yes, the, the main oh, menu song is like... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The main menu song is, you know, that... that um, yeah. Cinema sound scene in The Simpsons where it blows out everybody's ears yeah, and well, shatters their glasses. <laughs> last Thursday we turned up the in-game sound because we were jamming out to the to the tunes, and I was like, we gotta turn up these jams. And obviously my mouth was like on the microphone because it was just me, and so uh, the balance was off for what we needed for two people. It's been a while since we had two people in front of this microphone. Uh, what's up, Edmund? Found it. Hey guys, I'm excited to check out this game. Heck yeah. Well, hopefully this will be a good uh, indication of what you can expect from humankind. We're going to be playing a scenario today where basically uh, this is our th- this is my third day playing this. Uh, 75 turns has taken me four hours <laughs> to get to turn 55, as you can see where the Venetians right now. Which, um, which apparently is a good choice. I've seen that quite a, a bit in the submissions. I was counseled to choose the Venetians over the... Dutch, I think. I think the Venetians are better here because of the strong trade route bonus. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we haven't found everybody yet, but in the next 20 turns, I'm going to find everybody, trade with everybody, everything, and build as many the, the, market the corners nice as thing I is, can. You know, one reason why me and, and Sari, we had a lot of discussion about, oh, should it be uh, money you have or money you're making per turn at the end? And I thought, mm-hmm. no, it needs to be money you make per turn. Because I do not want to incentivize people spending money to make money. Right. So, because if we had said, oh, it needs to be accumulated money, nobody would ever use the buyouts. People might be reluctant and, you know, they would look at it and be like, oh, I need to calculate whether or not I will make more money back from the straight route by end end game. If I said, no, that's not something we wanted people to do. So it's like income. Make money. you're, you're You're not supposed to be Scrooge McDuck diving into your pile of money it's it needs to be in circulation <laughs> i got rob zig's cat to look around was my register high enough to be like 
<laughs> cats. Like, oh, well, yes, of course, Dr. Kent, there's, there's also the, the EQ, I guess. Uh, I don't remember the exact effect. Usually, I, I think of the Venetian EQ more for the influence than for the money. Uh, yeah. Um, well, there's been a lot of strikes in Paris. For those of you that don't know, our studio is in Paris, France. Even if we don't sound French, that is where the studio is located. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> that, that the cat has left the room. What are you doing? Ah, dang it! I'll bring it back. Come back, Kitty. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, but yeah. So it's it's a, a little bit of a you know a political situation. We'll not go into the politics of it. But essentially, a lot of people are upset about um, some laws that have been passed recently, and are out in the streets, and people are not picking up oh, the but, trash but I mean, and burning the trash. And I mean, even before the the whole current situation that the law has been passed and they're protesting that they were already striking beforehand to you know, uh, yeah. prevent that and many times you know the, the reputations people have are unjustified but the, the reputation the French have for striking I think is pretty much deserved because when they decide to strike then they strike and it's not like you know oh Ten people in the company are on strike, but it's like, oh yes, you know, only half of the trains are running. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a little bit tough to get to the studio, but for me, like living way outside of Paris, um, I've I've not noticed anything. I've not seen anything. I've seen it on the news, but uh, m my section of Paris is completely just normal. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know, probably because your section of Paris isn't actually Paris anymore. Well, it's, it's like, I it's know. Paris it's Paris Metropolitan Paris. Area or something like that. Yeah, the greater Paris area. All right. So we uh, are currently, uh, well, wait, why? Oh, we're, why are we blue now? Oh, have we? Blue all along. No, I chose purple, but now they're purple and I'm blue. You, you shouldn't be able to choose a color when you load a save, I think. Was I always... Chat, was I always blue? No way I was always blue. Good for the people standing up for themselves to not eat the cake. <laughs> if uh, my written French was better, I'd be all over the French, but writing it is ridiculous, honestly, though. All right, who's blocking my trade routes? <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. Dr. Ken, you, are you sure you should be calling Simon like <laughs> that? He's probably reading chat right now. You better watch out. <laughs> Could be the settings. I either that or I'm just like yeah, crazy. Yeah, maybe you had some because I've seen that happen sometimes where um, there was some weirdness going on in the accessibility settings where you can change the player colors. Did it? Did everybody start as blue in this scenario though? Because it's a save file. Yes, you should. I should be blue? You should be blue, yes. Okay, well... Because blue is pretty much always the player color. I'm just... I'm just a little crazy. Don't mind me. All right, right. So we have the the camel riders and the cross... Ooh. We could get the arquebusiers, actually. Which might be kind of nice. But yeah, as, as Dr. Kane is pointing out, since, you know, before he was filming from home... Mm -hmm, yeah. Maybe it was that on your home PC you had like the accessibility settings your colors were changed so it converted oh, blue into purple oh I see what you mean yeah well that could be so anyways I have these two boats out here because I'm trying to get to know everybody else so I can trade with everybody else so we can buy their things they can buy our things and we can make all that money uh because currently we're only at a thousand per turn and that's unacceptable at turn 55 yeah that's um Hmm. <laughs> you know, of course, I they to... immediately make demands. Um, no, I, I was, I was uh, about to say, yeah, that's only like what the the first place only makes like two thousand times as much money, or yeah, something. Yeah, well, like we're not trying to get to first place. <laughs> we're just trying to, you know, get in the running. So, yes, yeah, um, but see, with with this one, I I was expecting you to have a fighting chance. Well, it's going well. I I so okay for those of you that to, to have, be f to be fair I think you know it kind of goes exponential after okay. like the early modern yeah we started here at Shanami we got Sapar and then Thebes over here which used to be controlled by uh, Senora Wang uh, she was like hey I hate you and everything you do makes me sad and I want to fight you for it. And so basically, we just fought I, her for like 25 yes, I, turns. I, I, I remember that. That was the, where do all these reinforcements come from? Yeah. Situation. <laughs> it was rough, okay? And then we finally prevailed, forced them to give us their city, which, granted, had a lot of market quarters in it, as you can see. 
These are delicious market quarters, and they're surrounded by a luxuries market that I put there. Um, so super cool. I'm I'm very happy about how that worked out. Yep. Um, it looks great. Our but cities look sh you know, to, shiny. To things to thought, what I meant is like it usually starts to go exponentially because one, you're looking for the other players to trade. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two, of course, you know you have um, the patronage technology and stuff like that in the yeah, early morning. Yeah, we're going hard. And three, there's a new world here. If you get there first and grab the stuff, you just explode. Oh, there's a new world. Well, see, that's, I just started exploring to figure out where the things were. So, turn 56 is about to be really important for us. Uh, Oh, what did, how do you feel about us? Oh, she's like, I would like you, but you are pressing me. Hmm, sounds in a good spot for sure. Yeah, uh... It was very hard to fight them because they were essentially blocking me off here and then trying to get up here I could only approach from the the low ground over here or fight up this little spot right here It, th those it were was bad. Those were some wild battles. Here. Yeah, <laughs> it was actually really good fighting. What's up Paxis? Um, so yeah, so let's start exploring a little bit here <laughs> Are you gonna do anything about the brown bear and the demands? No, no, I'm I'm sorry, now I'm just imagining like Yogi Bear showing up to your picnic and demanding your, your food. <laughs> <laughs> Give me half your picnic baskets. <laughs> but Yogi, those piss picnic baskets are for them. <laughs> I'm assuming you've actually seen the Yogi Bear. Yes, but only the, the German dog. Oh, but, okay. But, Do but, they have the but, same voices? Well, obviously not the same, but yeah, kind of similar. Okay. Because, you know, there's just that... The type of voice they always give the uh, diminutive characters. Yeah. All right. How do we get them to like us more? We're already sharing maps. We're already trading everything. We got the non-aggression pack going. Well, uh, we, we are permitted to trade everything. Are we trading everything? Yeah. Uh, no. Mm, no. No, no. There are more things yeah, now. Yeah, but we can't because we're in crisis. So we need to resolve the crisis. Right. Well... We could just refuse their demands. Yeah, like if it was only the money, I'd say, yeah, cool, sure. But three territories, that's a lot. Yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty, um, yeah, that's right. Withdraw your demands. And now she's condescending. Mm, she thinks we're not good enough at making money, I guess. Well, let me buy your things. Incense, money. We like that. Give me that. Pearls, money. Uh, and, and money for it, traders. It, you know, the transportation is so cheap here. Silver? Get it. Silk? I'm just going to buy everything because I think we have the money. Probably. Uh, and we'll take your iron. But this should start helping us a bit with... Because uh, I think we're having some stability problems. There we go. Our stability problems are fixing themselves. Thanks to all of the luxuries we're importing. Yep. <laughs> and the moment we have a crisis, everything's gonna crash. Yeah, but th see, I plan on schmoozing these folks, all right? Also, we're building the Taj Mahal very, very quickly so that we can, um, you know, have more stability as well. I don't care, boo-boo. I'm a bear. <laughs> oh, and I like picnic baskets. All right. Um, so I think... Our best option here might be we start sending armies over here. Maybe we should actually expand. Who's well, who's administrative give, center? Given is what that? I've seen of the high submission, yes, we need as much territory as we can because oh boy, those screenshots of those cities. Yeah, I don't know. Have you seen them? I have not, but I am curious to see them. Market. Market money, money, money! As far as the eye can see, we can't keep doing this, Bob. Uh, six and twelve versus eighteen and three. I mean, that's more, <laughs> more total for sure. <laughs> Bruno is asking about precisely the thing we were talking about recently during lunch break. The old oh, um, French. why? Why do French cinemas oh, rename oh. movies into English? And you know why? Why do most of them have a certain word in their title? Je parle le même téléphone. Je peux vous parler en français, mais pour vrai écrire en français, c'est différent. The French, but I can only speak it. Yeah, I mean, speaking French, I think as well is a lot easier. 
A uh, fair comparison would be civilization. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I think... Well, it's, it's similar, but it's definitely very different. It would yeah, I think the genre is the same. The, the genre is the same, uh, same and thematically, of course. Uh, it's both about history. But there are many like, strategies you would use in Civ. You probably have to unlearn to do well in humankind because of how certain things work differently. Agreed, yeah. Uh, did we end up making the harbor? No, I that, think we that were going to make the harbor. harbor. I can't remember where we were going to make the harbor. Maybe it was here. I mean, you must have a harbor somewhere, or oh, you, is that you, you wouldn't have here. boats. Okay, I was like, I was going to say, I was like, I swear we did. Um, okay, well, I think the market quarters, we just got to start pumping out market quarters. We just got to nice. surround our great obelisk because it's our religious district. But the, the issue I was trying to fix first was the uh, stability issues. But I think part of that's going to be by just getting to know more people. Are you going to start and buying more resources? Uh, ooh, I don't <laughs> want this. I like my money per trader with privatized industries. I also don't want to go back to stability. I want to go to money. Mm. I think I'm going to have to refuse it. Queen, Queen Mama Oklo. Wait, hold up. Where did it go? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I agree. What happens if you refuse? Oof. But only for two turns. Yeah, I think we're going to have to refuse, which it's okay. It, I think two turns isn't even long enough <laughs> for it to take that far down. Yeah, um, I think we're going to make another boat. I'd like to make a boat out here, though, to start exploring that way. Okay, let's keep on moving. You gotta build fish markets in your city so your harbors for money and thus gain the botag. Oh, right, the the uh, the um district from the Venetians gives like money on tiles to produce money or something like that. Uh, I thought we got the fish market, didn't we? Yeah, but have you built it? Uh, maybe. The, the fish market is very early infrastructure. Um. I feel like I have. I mean, you can you can tell if you zoom in on the harbor and there's money being produced there. No, I don't think we do. Hmm. Oh, so is it something that we haven't researched then? What's up, Damon Kyle? I mean, we do have a search bar at the top. <laughs> yeah, I know. The keyboard's so far away, though. Fish market. For money on harbor. We have it researched. Then why are we not getting for money on our harbor? Because it's an infrastructure and you need to build it. Oh, right. Oh, he means fishmonger. But if we have the fish market, I'm pretty sure we need the tech for the fishmonger first. How quickly will we die? Uh-oh. This ship's almost gonna die. Uh, and then hold up, we won't go too crazy. Oh, land! Land ho! Is this the new world? It must be, because it's not claimed or something. Uh, could we bop across here with transport ships without dying? It's kind of. Mm, if we quite time, far. It, time it right, yes. Because here's what I'm thinking. What if we... Oh, hold up. We needed to, to make this first. Boop. Um, and then we can... How many... We have five cities? I think we can just attach it to Chonomy. Oh, no. We're going to really start suffering here in a second. No, I, th I think 50 of that penalty is if you have over... I think that's the temporary one. Mine's 50. Oh, the Defiant. Okay. That wears off in like two turns, I think. But man, the food's bad here. Yeah. Minus 25. Maybe we should make some... Oh, 25 stability, though. Oh, sheesh. Where can we get some, like, decent food? But it's just... I mean, I guess if you attach it, you get, like, 18 food. Because it was, like, 18 food. If we attached it, but the stability... It's still... 
going to 33, so yeah. that's fine. And as I say, I think a big part of that is, is temporarily. All right, I think if we set off from here... Oh, why does it think that we should go that way? Oh, because the harbor will make it quicker. The harbor makes it quicker to get into the water, but this is not a good way to do it. No. So it's going to take the same amount of turns anyways. Yes. So I think we'll just go there. We need to go across the shortest path, path because I'm, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure our boats only have two movements still. Okay. Caravels? Uh, that's a good question. Um. Hmm. Compatibilism or literalism? We're going to chill out on that. I think we what we really need is more wonders. Once we finish the uh, Taj, Mahal. Taj Mahal, yeah. Wow, you're just full of demands, aren't you? Relinquish it. Relinquish it, never. You're already at 100 war support. Not, this, not much can get worse. <laughs> if you don't give me this, I will get angry. And you look at it and you're already as angry as you yeah. can get. <laughs> also, what are you... Oh, you want to accept... And can we counter a proposal for 800? I just want money from them. No, do not. Don't counter it, you don't think? If you if you want the sh uh, share maps, you accept it. If you counter <laughs> it, you'll not get the money because the AI doesn't save money. I've had it work. I've had it work. Yeah, but I don't think for eight hundred something. And that's a lot of money. It seems like they would would not have that much money. They usually uh, give only a little bit. I guess we'll accept their maps for now. And also, you know, the maps might give us valuable information. I know. I wanted their maps and, and their so money, though. Independent people <laughs> This is all about greed, right? Yes, but that's a, another reason why it's about the per turn income and not mm. about the stockpile. Unit industry cost. What is it currently? Oh, combat strength. Uh, ah, the, this is the legacy from the early war, is it? <laughs> when we desperately needed to survive? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with actually changing yeah, this at this, this point. Is fine. It doesn't make a difference to us. Well, and it increases our stability, actually. Because it makes our ideological axis more balanced. Um, I think I'm going to go actually and start claiming... Oh, th this used to be an independent city or something. Yeah. Huh? Because there's a lot of ruins lying around there. Yeah, I think I'll also come down here as well and grab this. Seems legit. Too legit to quit. So how's everybody's week going, huh? Y'all hanging in there? Y'all getting up to good, some good things? Uh, we could upgrade these units, actually. I think we will. Just to, you know, stay relevant. I just want to stay relevant, that's all. Also, can... Can my other unit... Where the heck did my other units go? Oh, they're there. Can y'all get upgraded, too? I got the money. Why is it not selecting me? <laughs> <laughs> I you saw me click I, on it like I, three I, times. I, I heard the clicks. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Um, also, say you're like preparing for the long weekend. Sadly, our weekend isn't as long as uh, some other countries around here. Yeah, I think uh, where, where the I UK live, gets Friday off. Yes, as well. and where I live in Germany, we would often get Friday off. Mm, we got mercantilism. Yes. Uh, I think we should get the uh, musketeers probably at some point, just so that we can maintain our dominance. I have an important question for you. Yeah, what's up? Why have you not researched the l wondrous luxuries yet? That is no, the uh, humanism. That is a great question. Um, because I need three incense. No, that that's specifically for if if it's the incense. I just pulled a random one for that too, oh. I guess. <laughs> Um, no, because I just got this because yes, I but, wanted but manufacturers, you know, apparently. For, the, um, for that, you need to keep in mind, it's how many axes we Taj have. Mahal is I, I definitely agree with the feedback that, hey, it should probably be built be based on how many extractors you have because it makes no sense that you have, like, oh, I have the one coffee plantation and I bought, like, six different types of coffee from other people and that's why mine is the best. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really make that much sense. But... As it works right now, we can buy the resources from others, and then we quickly build that extractor, and then we get the wondrous bonus. Mm, okay. Uh, things aren't great. Um, which one of these would be the best? I mean, having a holy site is good, right? 
having the bonuses from that is good, right? I think we're close to getting into the next era, so maybe we hold off. You think so? Because the era five ones might, I think there's a money one in era five. We are pretty Bru close. Bruno can it. probably um, confirm. <laughs> 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 probably knows the the wonders by heart better than I. Ooh, do. carcasses. <laughs> oh, people. I mean, the carcasses had to come from somewhere, right? I, you're not wrong. Liberty, Lady Liberty. Good. We love Liberty around here. Oh, oh, we got some water over there. Oh, we might actually survive. Yeah, well, this is, I mean, this you know, is finding a... those carcasses. It's like, mm, yes, <laughs> uh, the albatross around our neck. <laughs> yeah. Like um, literally in, in the realm of the ancient mariner sense. We need to see if we can see these people, though, is the real real thing. Uh, and then my unit should probably move along. You're going up there. You're going down here. So these are all just ruins. We can't aprovechar of the ruins. We can't take advantage of them. Actually, if you build districts over ruins, you get a slight discount. I guess because you're recycling the um, material. Okay. That's kind of what was my thought. I was like, you know, like there's buildings already. We don't need to build it from scratch. We can just like ah, uh, Jordan, Jordan <laughs> going full um, full. We need to minimize costs. <laughs> All like, yeah, the workers can just live in those old ruins. We don't need to build housing for them. <laughs> Why not? Uh, all right, let's see here. Who next? We have. Well, we gotta just look at the money cultures, right? The merchant merchant. Here's the thing: there is no money. There's no merchant in the cultures era. in the industrial dun, area. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh! Well, in that case, who should we choose? I think it could be good to. Uh, Edmund, yes, it's it's the dark blue uh, tiles, the deep water ocean tiles that, on the earlier ships, they apply a status lost at sea, and like the very first ones you can build, they just when they have the status, if you don't get back to coastal waters, they just fall. Yeah. And then you take progressively less damage until you invent boats that are sturdy enough to not uh, Big sink. Big boats. Which is sometime in Era 4, you get those boats. Yeah, I just didn't uh, upgrade my or boat. Or you could, you know, pick the Vikings in Era 3. They just get a transport ship that has that. Yeah. Persian and Siamese, you think? I like my 10% food, though. The Siamese have money quarters. Oh, and the Persians also have a money quarter, I think, oh. with the caravanserai. Money per population. Hmm. Money per adjacent market. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Per adjacent market quarter would be nice. Uh, and then you said the Persians. Money per number of trade routes. Well, that could be really good, too. Money because exactly. we're going to have a bunch of trade routes here. But it's per route, not per resource. Right? Well, each resource is a route. Oh, it is? that. Yeah. I was wondering e if e it was like no, per e city, e per e territory, e every sorry. Every one you, you buy is like the, the route. And of course, that since it's a, a building, it applies in the territory. So if that route goes through like, you know, two of your territories and you have one in both, then they should both of them should get the bonus. Okay. But is that better? 25% on shared product industry cost, 25% on all constructibles industry cost. All constructibles, like every single uh, district? Everything you build as far as I know. Because that includes infrastructures then. I think so. Okay. And then the Siamese, three industry per district. Per any district? Yes. All my districts just get more industry. Wow. And plus one, plus one money generated from ongoing trade on all cities. The, th this is the same kind of effect, but only once per city. Whereas the other one applies per territory. Mm, a, a but I kind of like the market quarter spam, you know, with the flo floating market. <laughs> also, we get yeah, a but Gatling the, the thing, of course, the, the floating market is a bit harder to build than the caravanserai. That's fair. Because, you know, it needs to be on coastal water, but it's not free placement. Mm, so it'd have. Okay, we don't have coastal you, water then. You need to expand towards the coast. Hmm. I think the winner used the I Siamese, think it must be Persian. But, but on these two, I, I definitely I have no idea which one is the better one here. 
It also stacks with a national project for the grand total of 46 discount on wonders. Mm -hmm. 46, because 25% of 25%. Uh, it's a multiplicative stacking, yes. Interesting, okay. Well, I think we'll go with the... So you uh, three folds. Jazza, yeah, you're... Two, you're nine out of geez. 16, yeah, that's, that checks out roughly. The harbors are anchor points, so you can build the floating market off your harbors. Yeah, we could... Oh, right, Dr. Kane has a good point. But we because harbors are anchor points now. But we you only can have just... one territory that has harbors. Yes, but, but but no, but we have others that can build harbors still. Um, we just haven't built them yet. Well, I don't think we have that many. Like, sure, we'll be able to put one here, and you know, and this here, one there. yes, and we have and potentially here. Sipar, they bit up there, mm -hmm. where the road goes into the ocean. That's actually a trade node. Where the trade route is going through, and we can just put a harbor there. Or I guess we would put the harbor a little further up so we can get more market for us next to the shore. So we do have coast. Like, this very deliberately is a map with a lot of water on it, mm -hmm. like very low land percentage, so that these kind of quarters can work if you work for it. All right, chat. What do you think then? I'll leave it up to you. I, I guess this is the time where Persians, we say, hey, Dark Arrow, pull in the chat. Persians or the uh, Siamese. I think those are our options. Yes. Siamese. And or I am definitely, definitely torn. I don't know which one is better. The Persians. Because I feel like flip a coin. Where's our coin? Our coins yeah, disappeared. Kind of, kind of disappeared. The humankind coin. I think probably in the uh, the interest of cleaning up. <laughs> yes. And I don't. I'm just gonna go with whichever one I see first, in the chat. Uh. Venetians, please, it would be funny. Uh, just, just. Oh, transcend. transcend! No, 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 no. I mean, I like the Venetians. Don't get me wrong. But, but yeah, but fame, fame, fame it, doesn't. It's not the primary concern. It's not here. my objective. All right, Siamese, because, let's you know, go. The the challenge for this one is get as much money as uh, per turn as possible. We're not playing for for uh, general gameplay. We're playing for <laughs> optimized <laughs> money like, making. Whatever I see first, Russian. <laughs> I mean, let's see here. Stability, influence, they're, faith. They're definitely not right for this kind of There's challenge. no money with the Russians. I want to go Siamese. Let's go. Wait. That's what Snuff King said. Okay, yeah, let's go. We are now going to be S Siamese Santa. <laughs> let's go. All right, you need to stop blocking my trade routes with these demands. You know I'm going to refuse them. And what are you going to do? You're going to go to war with me? You want that blood on your hands? But the funny thing is how the status is condescending. And so that's why they keep making their demands. But then they always pull them back for some reason. I guess because they still want to buy our resources or something. But it definitely has this feeling of, you are beneath my notice. You're not even worth fighting a war. <laughs> yeah. Uh, We got to make this Bottega. We got to put a little bit of industry in it, right? Yes. Oh, but it doesn't count as... No, it does. Oh, I thought we. The problem is you already. We myth clicked. busted this. You you already clicked. Yeah, we so myth busted late. this, so it's not gonna work. So let's do something. Well, else. you you could still. How much money do we have? Maybe you can buy it now. Uh, well, I'm wondering where it's useful though. Um, money per tile, producing money on market quarter. Well, you can put it anywhere, basically. I guess put it next to the commons quarter, make it less stability loss. That makes sense. Because it's a comments quarter, okay, right? Okay, yeah, it's about 2.4k, so... Oh, we can buy just it. buy it. Easy peasy, then. Um, how is and everybody check the doing other cities, here? I guess, because, yes, Dr. Kane is right. Obviously, we want to build as many of those as possible. Uh, I think since we got this new city over here, we can put one here. Uh, oh, and it even gave us one more era store. Nice. For the for the clout. Uh, well, right now we would not qualify for the Hall of Fame because you do need to make it to the podium, so you need to be among the top three. Oh, top five right now. Yep. Gotta be alrighty. Top three. alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, Sipar, so they've already made their potatoes, and you've already made your potatoes. Um, we well, could I attach guess we could this. Attach that and crank. Uh, but danger on there real quick. I'm worried about their Well, that's stability. the thing. As long as you've built the potash, we can deattach it after. Oh, okay. Just, you know, put that district down, 
And then it's fine. Also, uh, you know, more era stars. Yeah, that's fair. I think I have to attach this here, too. The city's oh, screwed. Oh. He's saying they're already in the queue. Oh, that's awkward. And I think we only have enough money for, for one, one more. more. We could spend nine people to make a couple, though. Ten people, apparently. Yes, if you wanted to spend the people, you should have used the people first. Why does it go up? Oh, because you've already had one. Up. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, I only have ten people left. Some so that... of you may die. <laughs> That's a sacrifice he's willing to make. Um, well, you know, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> in, in, in the end, this is not about population. It's about the money. <laughs> According to YouTube, we're playing Civ 1. What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> According to YouTube, YouTube's... That, that's... Yeah, you, YouTube go drunk, you're home. I've never heard that before. I was like, I don't even think we can... I don't think we can change that on, on the live stream, can we? No, it should like automatically on, just like attack. On, 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 on the video that we upload, we can select it, I think, but not on, on the stream. Well, see... There's part of the problem here is that we're using Restream to choose to stream to YouTube. So we're not actually going through YouTube's start a stream function, which Restream has much less functionality than like YouTube's start a stream function. Well, that's just perfect, isn't it? Uh, let me see if I can do anything about that. Uh, um... Hmm. Has anybody ever noticed that before? Uh, cause that, before? that is interesting. Let's pull down his view. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does say Civilization One, 1991. Uh, how does? As interesting as it would be to you know sit down with some of our designers and talk about the you know roots of the genre. I don't think that's what we're doing today. <laughs> no, but I'm not sure if I. Uh, I don't think that's what we're doing. Not sure if we're able to change that from here. Hmm. I, I think this is something where we need to look into this off stream to figure out exactly where that needs to I be. I was kind of hoping that it'd be something easy where I could just be like, change game. Nope. <laughs> since, since this is like obviously our account, you know? Yeah, like we're like, obviously the humankind no, account. I, I think this is one of those things where you need to go through the studio backend and you need to find it first. And I wonder if it's been like that every single time that we've streamed humankind. I think because I think sometimes in restream it, might have it doesn't said, ask you what game you're playing. Yeah, but I think sometimes it might have been Civ Six, but Civ One is definitely in one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, well, anyways, we're obviously not we, playing we, Civ we, One, we, so we, we were about to click that button there. I think. The uh, one with the minus 10 on it. Yeah, well... <laughs> it's tempting, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm not sure. We were going to get another city cap here in a second, though, weren't we? Yeah. And we could make another city. Yeah, but remember, you already picked the culture. Any footage we build, do not build in this turn. No, I know. Gone. I know. Hmm... Okay, but oh, I guess we had three over here too. Yes, but that's a different city, so that's different population on the button. Well, that's true, yeah. Also, it's only six here. Yeah, look at that, cheap. We only have to murder six people to make these <laughs> ones. <laughs> look, we're just... We're I mean, in, we're in, we're in, let's be honest. The base yields of this city aren't going to change much, depending on how much people we have. That's probably true Same for the with other Thebes. city here. And look, we're just, it's, we're, 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 it's fine. We're contacting all of the skilled artists in these cities and we're telling them, Hey, look, we have this very fine vintage. We want you to try out. You just have to come with us into There's this basement. No one left in the city. And it's a ghost town. Yes, and no, no, what I'm saying Everybody's is that they're, dead all, in these they're all still there. They're all still there. They are just enjoying a nice glass of Amontillado. Yeah, they're... Hanging in there somehow.
Oh yeah, <laughs> Dr. King kept an eye on our income. You know, and we got like plus a thousand income. You make from a, those you make a really really good point. Again, I'm not here to min max this. I'm just here to make money. All right. Yeah. This, Could I make more well, money? See, see but yeah, this, 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 I get it. This is the the whole. You know, there there were some terrible quotes during a certain time a few years ago about you know. Money, the economy, and lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar. I, I'm not comfortable. Okay, fair enough. That terrible on stream. I will tell you what I meant after fair the stream. Enough. It was bad. Alrighty. But it's, it's... Oh, is this... We have to build the fishmonger first. Yes. But uh, it was definitely something... It would get too political here on stream. Let's put it that way. But yeah, I get that. It's not that, like, we have to steer clear of it, but, like, it makes sense. I, I oh, don't want to go there when we should be focusing on the game. Yeah, uh -huh, I get it. I get it. Makes sense. Especially since we're bad enough at the game that we need to talk with some chat about the game to extend any chance of reaching the kinds of numbers I've seen. Yeah, well, I am going to see, and I think we'll Do probably... Do we have any bodacious left here? Yeah, but we don't have any people left, and we have no money left. Hmm. So, yeah. It's it's not good. But we're going to have so many Can I see these people please? Apparently not. I'd really love to know where you are. Yeah, Edmund makes the right point in YouTube chat. That's why they're called human resources. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That, that, I, I think human that way, way back there was actually kickstart for like a real time strategy game where it was like you know uh, robots versus aliens versus I don't remember the third faction and mm -hmm. the, it was called human resources because literally to power your economy you were harvesting like office buildings out of the humans goodness gracious the game never got made because it didn't get funded but it was like ah yes mm -hmm. alright we're just gonna oh sweet heavens how is the city so stable yet has so many districts there's a hundred. There's a hundred stability from commons quarters. That's how. Man, just building a couple commons quarters really helps. <laughs> Working them to death, eh? Yep, definitely. That's you know the world gets how you do in human you know, sometimes. Uses human resources. The cravers. Hey, we have a new follower. I'm so sorry I missed that. Eight count. Thank you very much and welcome officially to the Amplitude Studios community. Is that count null indexed? I can think it's more like one. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, but that, that's the point. You know, a programmer vampire starts zero. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Forward to the future on elephants. It, actually, you know, now that I think about it, yes, because there's also you know, one of the famous cyberpunk novels. The dude is actually called oh, calls them. himself Count Zero mm. because of that. Three money per adjacent market quarter. On the Ooh, we found them! Non-aggression pact, it's the Spanish. Hey, let's trade. For money? I accept. Because I will buy all of your stuff. Give me your 2% money and... Ooh, gemstones I make money off of. Okay, and then we're gonna hold off a second because I think we're running out of money. Are we? Those were like 70 Should we propose each? an alliance like... I don't think I don't think they're ready. It says that, but yeah, are we really out of money? We're making two thousand a turn, and those were like seventy each. I'm pretty sure we oh, can afford all of Oh, you have another two thousand. You're right. <laughs> that, that, that's what Doctor Kane was saying. You almost doubled your income by um <clears throat> by the things that we didn't do. <laughs> completing these constructions. We <clears throat> we did we did the people put their time, blood, sweat, and tears into it. Oh, we can't buy the horses yet. Okay. Well, we found one of them. I'd really love to share their maps as well, but we'll have do to. Do we have influence? We do, but we're saving it for that Era 5, sweet, well, sweet we, Era actually, 5 we should, wonder. Actually, we should look at that right now. Lady Liberty, baby. A, I think oh, we don't have any influence is the issue. Ah. Uh, <laughs> like, look at, our, look at our influence here. Okay, yes. It's non-existent. But I think Big Ben gives like a percentage bonus on money. Uh, Big Dan? I know, it's science, not money. Ah, uh, it was the Empire State Torre Building that's Estel. money. We might want to pivot to industry per population just for the cranking out of more market quarters. 
Perhaps Although we did just murder all of our populations, so. It'll bounce back. <laughs> <laughs> ha- hashtag 4 x game. Hashtag out of it'll bounce back. <laughs> Uh, I think that'll be good. Uh, yeah, give me your osmoses. Okay, well. Hey, Agalus. Oh, you know, I was going just casually talking about murdering a bunch of people <laughs> in order to make money. Yeah. Just 4X game things. It's just an average Tuesday, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, uh, oh, so, gotta... so, so, this was the, the day that M. Bison came to their village? M. Bison? Uh, you haven't seen that awful old Street Fighter movie either? No. Uh, All right. it's, it's a bit of a meme on online because, you know, the, the actor oh, for the villain no. knew that he was going to be in a crap B-movie video game adaptation, so he went full ham on his acting. Oh, gosh. Don't give up. You're not doing as well as the other Empire. <laughs> see? But see? Chad knows. Hey, what's up, Axel? <laughs> Chad knows Stamokles. That movie is a masterpiece. Yes. For you, it was just a Tuesday. It, it, I mean, it, it is really, it's like this, it's supposed to be this, you know, super serious scene, but where she confronts him about having burned down her village and murdered her family and everything. But it's a video game movie adaptation of a fighting game. So right. they just don't have that gravitas. And he's like putting himself a drink and being like, oh, for you, that was the most important day of your life. For me, it was Tuesday. Like, Gosh, there's so much of this map. What the heck? Uh, How the Era he- for Life, no, unfortunately, no updates on the console release at the moment. When we have more information to share, you know, it'll be all over oh, our blog posts, our socials, everywhere. So keep an eye on that, whichever is your preferred platform for news updates. And, you know, you'll hear there as soon as we have news. We just met the English randomly and we yelled at their boat and they were like, hey. I'm naked. And then we said, <laughs> hey, I don't have anybody on my boat. I'm just a boat. <laughs> it was quite intimate. Um, let's be let's be tradey people, yeah? Yes, give me all your shit. Give me all your stuff. I want all your stuff. Yeah, give me all your uh, stuff. Excellent. No, no, no news about the ES2 patch we can share right now. But I can tell you we... I had it wasn't a big meeting about that today, so yes, oh, we're still that working what that on that. Was about yes, or well, it was it was less a confined in a room type of meeting and more of a <laughs> yelling at teams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh shoot, we got another. Th- How do we know? Oh, because we bought the resources from these people through these people. Uh, possibly yes. What? I don't know which culture was the red. Uh, was the red player? Oh right, I can't actually go in here. Grr. It was the English. Well, the, the English are under merchant culture, so maybe it was through the yellow player. But they didn't... I don't know. Maybe they, no, I feel like that didn't show up until just now when I bought this stuff from the English. But Then maybe they had vision of it, but we, we can't have bought it from the English because the English don't have the ability to research. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got... Siamese arquebusiers. That's dope. Okay. Um, let's see what our cities are doing, eh? We're a builder culture. We're getting absolutely a ton of population per turn. Well, one is the, the max. Hey, we have another follower. It's sec. Uh, yeah, excellent. Of course, we've been we've been working on. I was gonna, I was gonna say it, but then I didn't. Ah, uh, yes. I see why. <laughs> but no, Axel. Um, you almost got me. Axel, yes. Uh, definitely, we've been working on bug fixes, and there's, there's some very important ones in there. So but far. a lot of them are bug fixes where we've made the fix. We haven't confirmed if it works yet, so I don't want to go into details yet. So we need to surround this with market quarters? The, um... Ah. We can only start the, the, the floating market, you mean? Yes, uh, it, it has adjacency with uh, market quarters. We can only really put two market quarters there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Um, what if we put it here? We can't because that's an. Oh, you're town. right. You're right. Uh, also, that would also still only be two market quarters. Well, <laughs> yeah, but then I was thinking like, what if we put? No, but they're not like in relation to each other. Never mind. 
I think oh, also, th does the floating market count as a market corner? Yeah, I, I think so. That's why I was like, ah, uh, yes. That's why I was like, what if we put it together and then they can do 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 do. Yep, but it's not close. But enough. that's not. Yeah. But but we might have a border where we can do that here. If you go down a little bit, see, there's the border, and both of them have three land tiles adjacent to. The I was thinking about putting it next to the harbor. But then we only but, have one land tile there. But yeah, I was like, but that's not actually giving me more money. Why well, it's giving you like three more money. This is 45, this three is 42. But here we can build two floating markets next to each other and then put a market quarter next to both. I like it. Make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. We might need to manually build over to there to be able to build a market quarter there. But, you know, this is a good place to surround them. Okay, cool. Place them on the lake too. Cool. Un unless that's all deep water, but I don't think it is. Like one here and one there, but I already have stuff here. Yeah, oh, but that is a botege. And I'm pretty sure both of those count as market corners. Oh. Fifty-five money. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I and we can it's... even stick two more market quarters there. All right, but we don't have enough turns left in the game to do all of this, is the issue. Yeah, see, you know, two weeks ago you were like, ah, oh, 20 turn, uh, uh, build queue is fine, and I'm like, 75 turns timer? We only have like 15 turns left, yeah. So. I'm figuring it out, we're figuring it out, it's gonna work, we're gonna be fine. Not with that attitude. Yeah, this is a, uh, okay. No, Axel is accusing you of forgetting about the EL game. What did I forget about? <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about either. Can you get at least 5k MPT? Money per oh yeah, we can get 5,000 money per turn. Is that my goal? That's what I'm I, shooting towards? I think towards? That's, that's the only reasonable goal we have left. We are not getting anywhere near the 200,000 that most of the submissions to the Hall of Fame have. Yeah, well, you know. And then that one person who has, like, casual 2 million. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Ah, <laughs> your wonder victory. Now I'm curious what, what's so going on there. we can make there. a gemstone manufactory, and the special effect is... Well, the, the things, if you hover over the actual gemstone, you'll see what it says. Wonder money on Tempest all Smith? cities. Uh -huh. This is why we wanted this. Uh, the actual quarter is... It's okay with removing it, right? Uh, it, well, it replaces it. Okay. It still gets the, the resource. But this is the real reason why we wanted this. Mm -hmm. Can I put one of them everywhere? Or can you only have one... Wondrous one per type. Do things get cheaper to buy after each so turn of construction? Go, yes, uh, it's based on how much industry cost is left, but there's also like a certain scaling minimum cost for it. Yeah, like even when you only have one turn left, uh, the cost is still a lot higher yeah. than what it used per to be per, per turn. Per personally, I'm not sure I'm super fan of that, mostly because it just feels bad when it's like one industry left, 600 gold. Yeah. So even if it's like the tiniest sliver. Uh, okay, I think I think we're doing about all we can do here. Because uh, cause the floating market doesn't exist. Oh no, Sapar has one floating market that we're gonna... Where the heck did we make it? Did we already make it? No, we didn't. Oh, sorry, this is Kulumbi Saleh. And that definitely doesn't. Oh, that's a terrible city. Why is there just Why, why is that not part of another city? I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it's when we conquered from somebody and... You make a great point. I don't... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Especially like this, this <laughs> weird snaky bit at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It's... It's... um. What is it? <laughs> what does it look like? <gasps> it's the Netherlands! Is it? It's the Netherlands! If this was ocean right here, at, well, let me move the mouse. If this was ocean at the top, the Netherlands is like this. You have Amsterdam over here, Rotterdam over here. Er, yeah, but but there's a whole bit at the bottom there. <laughs> that's how. Yo, chat, pull up a map into the Netherlands. 
That, no, the Netherlands don't have a dangly bit at the bottom. It has the a dangly bit. The, the dangly bit at the bottom, I believe, is called Belgium, and this is a separate country. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's got a dangly bit, y'all. It's super small. It's not this big, but it's the same <laughs> shape. It's a, it's a, it's, it's like art. You look at art, and you're like, it's a pear, but it's not a pear. It's just a bunch of d d d squares. This is, this is your Rorschach test. Your uh, test. Next, you'll tell me that one of the territories looks like two bears high fiving. Maybe. If it does, I'll tell you that. Uh, I I think this is another reference scene. <laughs> <laughs> no. Two bears high-fiving? Why are all the references I don't get? <laughs> that, one's, that one's a classic RPG reference. Like in, oh, they're pleasant. Uh, yeah, they you you, you may have shit. heard of Fallout New Vegas, right? I've heard of Fallout, yeah. And like part of the character creation thing at the start is like, oh, you know, because you got shot, the doctor... Uh, knows you back to help, and then he's like, oh, let me do some psych evaluation on you, which, you know, makes suggestions for, like, what class you want to play, basically. Mm -hmm. And he shows you Rorschach tests. And, like, one of them was, like, you know, the blot, and it had the different options. And then, like, the Indian just went wild, being like, what the hell is wrong here? This clearly looks like two bears high-fiving. Why, why is there no option for that? And it really does look like two bears high-fiving. <laughs> and... Then in one of the DLCs, they specifically added an NPC you should go to this called Two Bears High Five. Oh, the sneaky <laughs> dangly bit. It's the dangly. Somebody look up a map of the Netherlands. Okay, so they did not want to be my allies. Just FYI, they were like, "Yeah, no." Nah. Yeah, Doctor Gan has nah, a point. This looks more like one of the Southeast Asian countries where it's like these long. Islands. You think this is like Laos right here? You think that's like... Who compares it to, uh, to Vietnam? Which, yep, yeah, I guess. Who compared it to Vietnam? Oh, close to Vietnam. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <sighs> All right. I'm, I'm sick of y'all criticizing <laughs> <laughs> my opinions. Uh, I don't know why I'm sending these people out here in the ocean anymore. Because there's obviously... I mean, like, there's a bit of that. But is this the new world? Did we just get beaten there? Or is the new world, like here there's so it's, much that it, i don't know where it is it's been so long i don't remember for sure but i think the new world is west of where we are okay i'm gonna send these Spo folks spoilers out. if you go far enough west you end up east again so it doesn't matter <laughs> okay magellan <laughs> <laughs> no no I, i'm just saying that you know to cover my tracks in case i'm wrong oh. because it's been so long <laughs> okay like we can build the harbor the harbor um. <laughs> yeah, Rob's saying, I don't know. I don't know about that. More like a dangly bit than Florida. Florida is a dangly bit, though. Let's be honest. I remember some of the first Euro coins they made because, you know, Norway isn't in the EU. It wasn't on that map. Yeah. And then people looked at the coin and were like, that's a very suggestive Scandinavia. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like Laos. Okay, but also the Netherlands. <laughs> let me let me see. I want to see what shape it is, cause I <gasps> see. Look, yeah, but look, that, it's that, a dangly bit. That, that's a very different <laughs> proportion than what we have in game. Okay, okay. Nether the Netherlands is like t ten times as big as its own dangly bit. It's much much smaller than I remember it being on the map. <laughs> Yeah, I remember <laughs> the dangly bit being a whole lot bigger. Um, oh, minus 20% resource deposits access required to create wondrous deposits. And that will get us to 10% money. But we need da more. Dark Arrow, is that you wow. asking or are you forwarding that question from somebody else? <laughs> because, yes, pyramid. obviously I will be playing Age of Wonders 4. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. I think we're doing well. And, I mean... Uh, yeah, yeah, Dr. Khan, that's that's exactly when... It was kind of like, hmm, ah, that's Scandinavia. Hmm. <laughs> so we can build some bot... Uh, not a boteji. What is this? <laughs> Actually, explain the context to somebody who just joined and heard this discussion. I'm afraid to, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> The, should I build these here or should I just build it where I can surround it better? 
I don't know if we're gonna have enough turns to even surround these, to be honest. Like, we only have like <laughs> Yeah. 14 more turns and Honestly, even if my cities have no stability left, we gotta build them. Cause at this point we only have time to just build things. Oh shoot, we need to have another one. Oh, we can make... Why does this city have the option to make so many? Because of the resources in its territory. So it's just because of all the stuff I got here. Um, okay. So what do you get? 10% money. 10% money. Well, we need all that. Obviously we do. <clears throat> I'm already at 5,000... No, I'm not. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Do Dr. Kane spending... <laughs> Dangly bits. Hold up. <laughs> This is the bits. This is I shall dub bits. <laughs> I can't look at Mr. Dust over there, just casually blowing 4,000 dust on a dumb joke. <laughs> Dangly. Dang. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dangly. Um, bits. Dangly bits. Let's go. It, it, so it shall be written, so it shall be done. I, I refuse any association with this. <laughs> I, have not, I have not been the person who spent the dust, the dust on this. <laughs> Look at Mr. Dust over here. <laughs> okay. All right. We need to find more people. Will you... Oh, you, you're just a... Why are you such a turd, Mama Oklo? Uh, Rob's a plan fall is definitely sci-fi but i wouldn't call it just reskin but obviously our stream is not exactly the place to go into details about the product of other companies you should probably just turn into paradox streams for that oh they're just telling us that they're pleasant ah, and, and now dark arrow is spending his dust for the renamings what if they end the game before turn 75 is that what's happening no, it's giving you the warning because we're close to turn 75. Like, the turn limit is the only okay. uh, condition. Uh, what do they want us to do? They want us to do the other one? I mean, I'm fine. No, with I, don't, I think we don't have either. I'm fine with... Uh, I'll enact it. What about you, huh? This is the one that I didn't care about either. Okay. But yeah... Anything Dark Arrow has demanded one of them needs to be called Moneyland. Money land. All right. Well, the only city that I haven't. Oh no. I guess. Do you want? We have. This is money land. This is full of monies. There's Th this, one. This is full of monies. Two, two, the overlay three. Almost no yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are, are we sure? That okay. This actually are, has are, way more market quarters. No. No. I'm like, are we sure that your confusion about the color earlier? <laughs> no, just I'm not colorblind. Money la land. The slightly less popular uh, theme park that's trying to copy Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Moneyland. My name is Mr. Krabs. Yeah, frankly. And I like fr money. Frankly, if. If Mr. Krabs had a theme park, he'd probably call it <laughs> Moneyland. Money land. Yeah. Because he's even less subtle about that <laughs> than uh, Krusty the Clown. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else that we can get that makes us money? <laughs> Princess more bucks, yes. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. I think we just need to cry. We can merge cities? Would that help us at all? Well, it would take care of that weird region. But I'm not sure we're allowed to merge it now that no, somebody spent has, money to rename it. Has it has a name now. We can't rename it. Ah. Money land. Okay. Alrighty. We were doing things, and I, I guess we're just gonna research whatever then. Um, please help me find the other people. I would like to find them. I have a feeling like these ships are just gonna converge down here. I think at this point we can maybe we get need... shared maps out of the yellow player. I tr I don't have enough influence. They're, they're now pleasant. Yeah, but they, they should have... Uh, no, it hasn't quite worn off yet. Yeah, so we need to... It's like one or two more turns, I guess. Uh, keep on moving. Because if I can get 
in with the, the other person, we could get a bunch more money. Let's keep it going this way. Ah, Rob, Rob gets, it's fine because, uh, yep. Paxis land is money land. <laughs> Welcome to Paxis land where we got money. Um... Hmm, we might need to start heading in with this boat as well, so we can try and find them. Culture, the Byzantines. Let's go! We found Semiramis. But we're still missing one culture. Hey, trade your luxuries. No, maybe we should be like non-aggression first. It's like, hey, who are you? <gasps> You're a merchant. You want to trade luxuries. I have a proposal. Oh! <laughs> Oh! Some of these they might have bought from others, and then they're gonna be very oh, okay. expensive to buy. Well, we won't take what they got. Give me, get me your stuff, please. No. Nah. Well, there's one of them we can actually afford. Oh, hey, look at that. Ebony or papyrus. I think probably the ebony because that's industry. Industry versus science. Boop. I mean, we can buy the other one. I mean, let's be honest. We just want more trade routes, right? Oh, uh, if, if we can afford both, then yes, obviously. It's 97 and we make 3.5K. I'd say it's worth. You have my ear. B -b 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 How's, oh God. They're How exactly afraid of us. Science stockpile. Uh, I, I think it does stockpile one to one, but there's a limit to how much you can stockpile. That's, I don't know, something like at most two, times your per turn output or something like that but i don't remember the exact values money on commons quarter uh, yes please let's let's actually for once be a democracy and not a bunch of tyrants because you know usually we, we okay hold up hold up hold up but i need to get this wait no yes because this will push us into the five percent more money on city or outpost that's what I was saving up for, so I can ah. enact this. Yeah, but we'll get that one next, though. Yes, we should. But I think 5% more money is better than the one on Good Commons ideas. Quarters, because I don't think we have and that many Commons Quarters. Uh, the potatoes all count as Commons Quarters, I think. But it's still only one point, so it's not going to be that much. Yeah. Okie dokie. I think all my cities are still churning through all of this glorious stuff we have. Uh, Y'all are starving. All oh, right, the potatoes would buff the commons quarter because it's plus two money on tiles that produce money, not plus two money on market quarter. Ooh. So okay. we should get that. I think we need food here. Oh, this is such a terrible city. <laughs> this is such a terrible city. <laughs> the dangly bit. <laughs> it needs more people so that I can have more people in the banks. It's just a bunch of market quarters. Yeah, and the the reason why and you no don't food. have more people is everybody's starving. Um, so yeah, maybe we actually need some food. <sighs> I mean, twenty three up there is pretty good. Yeah, and I'm um, five industry is all right. Okay, now we're not starving, but we're gonna quickly starve uh, again. Right, we, we should have access to hamlets, right? We do, yeah. So you can just build one down here. Oh. Hmm. Boop. We hammed it up, baby. We're hamming the lits. So I was like, we should, we should have. Hold up, how is the. Oh yeah, where is stability? Everybody in the sea works in banks borrowing from each other. So I called into a like, ah, so just like the real world. Yeah, this is like when I when I saw those screenshots of you know everything being market quarters from coast to coast, I was like, ah, I see what kind of economy we're running here. <laughs> we need that. We need that. We got to make sure to get all these infrastructures worked through because it's gonna get to the end and I'm gonna be like, oh, whoops. Whoops, forgot to make those. Also, we gotta make all these. Well, we do have money to buy out things, so. Also, I'd have to <coughs> replace these tiles. Yeah, it builds over the, I mean, technically it's more of an upgrade, but you know, on the technical side, it turns down the old one and builds a new one. Oh, right, so but it's, like... but the, yeah, right. There's already an artisan quarter there. Okay, so we'll put the gold on the gold. And we'll put the 
porcelain bowls on the porcelain bowls. Is it actually getting me that much more uh, stability? Well, it, it gives a little bit of stability, but it's also, you know, these are another 10% money modifier. Right. And then you might actually make it to the 5,000 they challenge you to. I believe in us. I don't see where this. Oh, it's up here. don't have enough monies. Okay. We're doing fine. We're doing groovy. Need a little bit more money. Whatever you intend to produce. We got this chat. How much? Yeah, we got 40 minutes left to do 10 okay. turns. I think we can manage that, right? Just barely. <laughs> a turn every five minutes. Uh, uh, see, see, already your math is falling apart. Wait, 40... Ten, yeah, it's around five minutes. Yeah, but if we take five minutes per turn, we only get eight turns and not ten. Yeah, but it's about. I'm and, saying and, it's about. And it's falling apart even more because, you know, You know, we you need don't need to, to know to... how to do math to make money. You <laughs> just need the skills to pay the bills, Stephanie. Sadly, that is very true. <laughs> uh, oh, we can also get a, one of these bad boys. Ooh, actually, like, mm, the people are being like, we must descend. Yeah, I imagine the people in our city are. We must descend after what happened to. Oh, ten percent food quarters. on all cities. That's perfect. We don't have to kill one person to get that as well. Yeah. See, this is exactly why Axel is <laughs> like. Your people are like. We must descend. <laughs> e everybody who knows the the um, cutscene that it's referring to knows exactly what that's about. Ooh, 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 ooh. We don't need industry, we need money. <laughs> <laughs> We're all up yeah, no, honestly, I, I am wondering if, you know, that uh, oh. that was all, like, market quarters. All right, we already Might have been like, okay, I have a bunch of industry quarters, but I'm stockpiling money, and then the last turn, all of these industry quarters get replaced. Bye, 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 damn. I mean, that sounds pretty smart, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Dr. Kane, just fire. Wait, if it's one turn left, well, I wouldn't expect Jordan to get the reference anyways. What reference, though? Do we must descend. Oh, yeah, I don't know that reference. I mean, it's it's only funny because it's true, right? Uh, 10% food from killing one person? Hmm. Totally green as people. Indeed. They only have one horses. Is that worth trying to trade with them? No, I think the share maps is more important because that might give us the last player. I think you uh, find Will Do not give me the maps. Mm, mm, this is quickly going downhill. Where we <laughs> okay, okay, I will draw. <laughs> I thought if we got a little bit, you know, uppity with them, they're needy. You need need to give me your maps. <laughs> uh, we still don't know where the last person is. How do I? Will you share your maps with me? Share your maps with me today. What about uh the light green player? The whatever animal that actually is, I don't remember. The llama. Or an so, alpaca. Maybe. It's an alpaca, probably. Llama? Sad llama. Llama face. Oh, what is a card doing anyways? Oh, we got to build the Bateje. Not the Bateje. We got to build the you're floating bit, market. You're a bit late for that, yes. <laughs> oh, and we can make some amber grease. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a lot of money that I've been sitting on. Whoops. You didn't see that. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? <laughs> Another reference you probably don't get. <laughs> it sounds familiar. That one at least it, sounds familiar. Uh, I was it four or maybe was it five? Whenever you open diplomacy with the, the English, or when they approach you for diplomacy, would the Queen Elizabeth be like, Oh, would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Okay, so I've probably heard that one before. Okay, it was to five. Great fish market, only money infrastructure. We need all of them. We can't just have one of them. 
Hold up. Customary laws. Nah, I don't care. Sway me in whatever direction you'd like. Because we but, still have know, no influence. Let's also, you know, let's be fair here. You know. As me, long as we got that. <coughs> yeah. As long me, as we're Me and Chad, you know, are poking a bit fun, uh, fun at a reference you don't get. But I'm sure you could make a ton of reference. Joke. None of us would get it. Jokes at my expense. Yeah, exactly. Like, who gets this reference? Uh, Gold team rules. I'll even do the voice. Gold team rules! What's that from, huh? That's right, you don't know, do you? <laughs> How's Moneyland doing? Moneyland? I was actually, you know, I was keeping an eye on chat. How much money is money? Waiting making? for everybody in chat to go like, oh yes, of course I know. <laughs> and, and then me being the one, you know, left out. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's gonna Google it though. And they're gonna be like, oh, I definitely knew what that was. Yeah, get stomped, chat. <laughs> you definitely didn't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need the great fish market. Make it happen. Fish up the markets. Well, the, the voice definitely has a very uh, Saturday morning cartoon uh, vibe to it. Fishmonger. Oh, yes, we made it over the 5k. Yeah, take that. Well, I guess Dr. Kane was kind of the one that was reading for me. Don't take that. I thank you for your belief in me. <laughs> uh, wow, I don't really want either of these. <laughs> this is just for my meme degree knowledge. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, gosh. We got things. We got things we need to do. I think we're going to just... I mean, is there money? Uh, yeah, I couldn't find anything we made here. We can search by money, though. Not what do we get with turns. that, huh? <gasps> How many turns? We can make it, maybe? Four? No. No, we'd have to do that and then that and then that. See, you should have checked that earlier instead of researching random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like those filters are there for oh! a reason, right? Oh, <laughs> we made friends. Hi, Ito Japanese console Elisa. Hey, would you like to trade things with me? <gasps> you would? Give me all your shit. Yeah, I'll buy it. Give me your incense. Give me your sage. Your sage wisdom as well would be appreciated. I'm about to throw hands with Mother Nature. It's April and it's snowing. Yep. That said, had to Google it. Was SpongeBob? Yes, it ah, was. So that, that would explain why I didn't get it because I've only ever seen SpongeBob in German. Hmm. But now that you know that it's Spongebob... It makes sense. It fits Spongebob. I think you might Give me your iron. Give me all I mean, I, I guess, you know, accurately, yes, I have seen some clips of Spongebob in English, but, like, uh, entire episodes only in German, because they, the original language just didn't air in Germany. Yeah, it makes sense. What are they... Oh, they're just being pleasant with me? I feel like the whole like red exclamation mark on oh, hovering over like an empire and have clicking on it and being like, oh, they're and, just pleasant with me. You know, Dr. Dr. Ken, you say that with with a way with the act is making it sound kind of joking. But as far as I'm aware, that is pretty much the reason that they're like, yes, these are very complex effect. It's not just a warming. So that's why we need to call it climate change. Right. You and I'm gonna also, just stop but, but even even boats. before you know all of this, where I grew up in, in Germany, there was always the you know uh, the the saying of oh, uh, translated April does whatever it wants. Like April weather was just unpredictable: snow, storms, sun. No idea. Okay, I think we're. Oh, we got another six money. Is that worth it? It's not worth another market quarter, that's for sure. Unless we don't have another market quarter that would work better. Okay. We will need to start making some more stuff. More stuff. Alrighty. I think, it, I think we're kind of just cruising to the finish line here because yep. we're just going to keep on making more and more money. I think we're and basically trading with everyone. 
And at this point, it's really just about let's see how much we can get because we know we have no chance of competing with our experienced players. <laughs> no, but I mean, did I ever really think like, I was going to be... When, when I looked at that, I was like, ooh, 200,000, 300,000, that's good. And then I saw the winner and it's like, 2 million. Hmm. Hmm. So they want us to accept their army wages? Sure. Uh, how are we doing here, huh? Trade everything, open borders, you're just chilling? We're chilling? You're still, oh, you're still friendly with me. You know, these see, are the people see, that yeah, we... Since they're friendly here, we might say like, hey, let's propose an alliance to have stronger have ties. Can we do the whole... Yes, since, oh. since all the trade is already set up, it's not going to yeah, benefit us anymore now. That's fair. But it's it's good for, to keep them friendly with us. I think the cultural exchange would be the best. A proposal for you. Okay, well. Think on it. At the very least, we can say, you know, you might not beat um, the submissions on money, but you seem to have been doing reasonably well, given that some of the there? neighbors here are still in the medieval era. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's that. Yeah. Okay, bank. I feel like I got to turn on the... Hold up, where's the, the bunny? There we go. Just want to see the money, please. I remember when you could make two million money for drone by building a few missiles. Oh, I do, and it hurts. <laughs> I don't know if you were here at, at the time already. Or if that was still in before the release. Hey. How many market quarters <laughs> can we make? this one simple trick. How many market quarters can we make? But. But now I'm wondering, could we make that much money by building a couple of missiles? Because the missile always knows where it is, and it knows where it is by knowing where it isn't. Sorry, memes <laughs> <laughs> that you might not have, never have come across. The missile knows where it is by knowing where it isn't. Yes. Hmm. As far as I'm aware, that is taken from a genuine U.S. Army training film. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, I guess we're just slapping market quarters down every which place, eh? Well, we were supposed to be like surrounding these. What the heck is happening? Oh, but we can't because they're not. Yeah, we need to anchored. build. To, so we could build off of that. Yes. Hold up. So these. How important is it though? Three money from adjacent tiles or something oh, I forget how much it was to be honest because these market quarters are like being built I honestly can't remember where they're being built at this point they're being built down here somewhere we can build no oh, good off of it hold on and you know it's 25 so that's a decent that's Still not better than this spot, though. Yeah, that's probably because that's also like next to like two emblematic waters up there, I think. Why is this one so good? Oh, because of the lu luxuries market or something, whatever that's called. Yeah, it is a luxuries market. Look at me. <laughs> and that one is next to the harbor. So it gets. It's on, I'm pretty sure that's also a floating market. <laughs> that's a little... Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. I remember. The fact that it's floating kind of gives it away, you know. <laughs> but in, 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 in your defense, floating ports were a thing and were very important Look during at, certain decades. Yeah, but like, where is the harbor? Look at these harbors. They have things that are going out over the water. Yes, but it's just not, connected to the really land. Floating. <laughs> I know. Uh, Y'all are just chilling there. But I will disband all these at the last turn. That is part of my plan. I'm already planning it. You don't have to tell me to do it. All right. You could remind me, maybe. Um, I'm curious, actually, if we can get over to this. Uh, oh, but we'd have to build this customs agency and an infrastructure. Yes. So not only is it seven turns out, which is just barely, but we'd have to actually build it. So I think what I'm going to do is... So 
but we put people in science so they get a little bit more science. Oh, artistic expression. Nope. Okay. Um, um, do we have enough for the uh, the Aristotle? To, yes, we do. Um, I there's no like wonder that we need. I actually never even built the Eiffel Tower, the, to be honest. I think all of the wonders were claimed by the time so we... <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Traditions. That's a bit more money. Look at that, almost 7,000. Let's go. The will of the people. Ooh, the scientific boosty boost will help a lot. Um, Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it at this point to even build this. I didn't feel like it was worth it the other turn, so I feel like it's still not worth it now. We just need more... More of these. More money. Uh, is this the the old? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, you got like... just just a mild cue. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, most of those will be finished by the end of the game. Yeah, we we're really doing it, you know. I thought we already. No, you hadn't done it because of the loss of industry. It's still just telling ah, me I can build yeah. it, so it's just wonka. It's just a little wonka. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do here once we finish those. We're going to wait until it's done, though, because it's wonka. Okay, I think I think we just end in turns. I think at this point, we're just kind of... Because everybody's <laughs> working on that science. He, he pulls up the city that's like, hey... People are starving. You're gonna lose population next turn. And goes like, I think we're just gonna end turns. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to end turns. We're here to end turns and make money. And we're all out of money. We're here to end turns and end lives, actually. <laughs> the city's whack, yo. Oh, fina Ooh, or learning on cities. <laughs> uh, oh, chat, chat is getting. Wild again with the the jokes. Like, oh, it, what's your favorite Windows design? If anybody says Windows 11, that's a bad one. <laughs> uh, you want uh, shared logistics? Well, okay, that's fine. Five commons quarters. This should be as stable as bedrock. Five commons quarters. My. I, I think he he might be a little behind the time soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the encyclopedia researched. So what do we have? How many turns? Two turns. I mean, we've done great. We've boosty boosted the science quite a bit here. We might even get some customs agencies out. Uh, you know, I'm also realizing another thing. Oh, would this be good for like, if I want to tank our stability really hard? It's going to be five points difference. It's not going to make a difference really. No, preventing the uh, empire for, for revolution. The emperor, uh, yeah, true. For preventing the empire revolution, yes. That could be good. I think we have enough in, uh, influence because we already got the one that we wanted over here. Is yep. this necessary? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking about the the implications there of we're a democratic republic, but, but we people control the are plan. not allowed to say what they think. Mm, what kind of nation are we here? <laughs> America. <laughs> I I said it. I I'm, I'm the one who said it. <laughs> Propaganda. <laughs> Oh gosh. To know what the truth is. It's a really crazy time to be alive. You know that? <laughs> yes. Obviously, we're talking about in game. Yeah, in game. <laughs> um, okay. We're just going to keep on replacing stuff with market quarters. While I people think. are starving. Yeah, well, <laughs> they can eat money. Um, What the heck are we doing over here? We got to have infrastructure. Do we not have any more infrastructures to build? That's crazy. Oh, the thing. That gives me money. <laughs> you know the, the thing? The, the, the thing, yes. Yeah. Eight money. Is that worth? No, I should just build more market quarters. Oh, like right there. And there. And there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Where else? Where does it think I should build these market quarters, huh? Way over here. I'll take it. What about you, huh? Over here. Ooh, ooh, 31. Yeah, who needs science? Put that at the front of the line. <laughs> who needs science when you got money to pay for the osmosis effects? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> uh, army composition sure just keeps on flip-flopping okay, yeah. back and forth. Oh, you want to be an alliance? Yeah, go for it. 
Sorry. You don't have anything else to offer me, though, really. Oh, you want the cultural exchange. Hey, at, at, at least they've stopped being the English, and now they're the Poles, so they're slowly catching up in eras. They're rever reverential, though. We're at war with my ally? No, no, they're at oh, war with our ally. Oh, it's all cool. You you do your thing. <laughs> you, you do you just kill each other. I'm over here making money. I you don't care. You do you, boo. <laughs> I think we're fine. And perhaps Karkloof. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name my cat if I ever get one. Karkloof. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're doing so well. We got five I'm, I'm cities. I'm surprised that, that independent people there still exist. Where? The the Kuris. Oh, it's because we're like... Oh, we could eat them, though. Sh should we? We should. Shouldn't we? Should we cleanse them or assimilate them? Oh, sorry. That's what I meant. Assimilate them. Right? Because then we get another city. Is that that's better than the thirty six money we're getting, right? Well, I don't know how much we money they're making. If, if if we take a look at the city, we can probably see. Oh, okay. I was gonna be rash. Yeah, they do have a couple of market quarters there, so it's probably more than thirty six money they make. Assimilation. I mean, it, it, obviously, it should for it to be logical, but oh yeah, one hundred sixty three with all our bonuses. Nice. Uh, y'all are gonna have to get disbanded though, because that's awkward. You too. I have no need for your ancient era units. <laughs> uh, what can you do in five turns? Market quarters. I was like, depends on how much money we'd get from this though. Are any of these worth it? I don't think so. I think the monkey quarter is always going to be better here because the city is not big enough for the infrastructures to pay off yet. 16, 16, 16. Yes, 100% <laughs> yes. Get rid of all of these sciency districts. We don't need them. And that's five turns. We, we do not need knowledge. We just uh, need money. Yeah. New people are. I guess if not we really starving. want to maximize, also on the last turn, we need to disband all units and shift everybody into money. Yeah, that is that is the idea. You have forty thousand. You can instantly complete the infrastructure of a city. Yeah, I know, but like, is it worth the, doing that or insta building I, I five it, market it, quarters it, it, with that money? Yeah, it, the infrastructure might be That's worth more question. once the market quarters are finished. Oh, good good point. Okay, how's Dangly going? Eight turns. That's a lot of turns. They're gonna start in 36 turns, they got time. <laughs> the game will be over by that's, then. That's because somebody already starved. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Yes. Dang it. Hold up, we gotta buy all these people's strategic resources. Hmm. I was like, are any of these available now? Or, oh, good. So, I'm gonna take it. Mm. Nope, more ebony. More. I'm really just looking for the now trade uh, the routes everyone. at this point. How do you do? Uh, hey, do you want to trade everything? I have a proposal. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I, can live with this. I think we'll make oh, more that, money. That actually revealed a bunch of resources we didn't know about. Yeah, I think this is actually better for us Finally, in some ways. Good the strategic resources Again, this, count. This is exactly why it's not how much money you've saved. Yeah, that's a good point. You make a very good point here. Uh, Tudorberg. So nobody found the new world is essentially what we're learning here. Yes. And also the trade routes seem to be ex expertly skirting around the new world <laughs> where they don't they're ever like, see the coastline. Yeah, they're like, no, we don't want that. Because well, you see all well, of these these little dots in the fog of war, where we have a little bit of vision. These are th trade. The trade routes are going through there, and this. It's Not somewhere a bit of up there that, that we've seen here. <laughs> it's somewhere over there. Alrighty, uh, you're doing your do over here. That's only ten money. Let's get thirty money. You know, hold up. I just want to make sure that we've optimized here. Ooh, Thirty-one. 31 is more than <laughs> 31 is more than 29. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. 
All right, uh, Conquered Empires. <laughs> Whatever. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, when you only care about one thing, it's pretty easy to make your choices. <laughs> you know that meme, the guys only care about one thing and it's disgusting. It's just 9,000 money per turn. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah exactly. You, I, I've seen so many variations of that. Honestly, I think we should do like that. Can we do that meme on our Humankind channel or is that too? It, it, well, I, I guess you could do, oh, guys can only care about one thing and it's like, you know, the fame icon or something like that. So it's a bit more applicable to the game. General normally. game, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I guess for anybody that's that doesn't know the meme. Yeah. It's weird. I but... am listening. Mm -hmm. Tell me about well, I guess, you know, we could adapt it so it's a bit less offensive so, and, you know, rephrase it. And, like, humankind players only care about one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. then it stops being a, a, a sexist yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's disgusting and it's just... Well, the disgusting bit, you, you know, you can just leave that out. If yeah. If you're redoing the template anyway. Yeah. I think the disgusting part is, like, funny because it's, like... It's not actually disgusting. Well, yeah. But, you know, the, the phrasing might be important for the brand image. Of course, yeah. you know, you need to have this kind of... It's funny because it's not what you're expecting. Yeah. But disgusting might not be the word we want it to It might use, be too far. Saying. Yeah, I get you. I got you. Uh, okay. Oh, He's finally good. racing min-maxing 4X games. <laughs> um, oh, we're actually still pushed far, than, uh, far enough that that won't make a difference. I think, right? Lich is right. Um, so I think if we do this, then we'll do personal rights, which pushes us even further. Personal rights, yeah. Personal is individual. Reaching the end of an ideology axis isn't extraneous. Think of it Very being goal oriented. <laughs> Just uh, the goal is money. The goal is money. We might even make Wait, it up. to. 10,000. Science are converted into industry. Money and science. Wait, we should be doing that. <laughs> oh, we can only do that in one of our cities. Took Slava being like, ah, damn it, I missed an hour of the stream because I was playing Humankind myself. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, Duke. Yeah, don't worry. It's all good. Hey, we got the thing. Now we can get customs agencies everywhere. Sadly, I think for that kind of effect, the preview doesn't work quite right. It still says eight money. Well, I think the preview is probably broken here right now because technically we make zero money right now in this city. Yeah. Um, and then... Oh, 104 money. We need that. Uh, and then hold up, where's the thing? What was the thing that I was just building? You know, this list also has filters. You can just say, hey, give me all the money stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wait, oh, customs agency. 10%. Yeah, okay. Zoop. I just want to make sure that we build all of them because important. Zoop. Chanami. Well, Takaro is leaving, so see ya tomorrow. Bye. Have a nice rest of the stream. Take care, my dude. Safe travels home. Or wherever it is you're going. <laughs> Ooh, the phone calls. Probably, probably even once you're, you know, not eager to have. So maybe, maybe you know, my perception of that is warped because I do not like handling any kind of official business over the phone. Mm. Plus one money generated from ongoing trade. Uh, which one was it? Though? Oh, we have to build something first before we get the yes. other one. But is also, it? I don't think we have ongoing trade in this city at all. But which one is the one that we need? What is the prerequisite for this? Uh, for customs agents? But also, this is also from ongoing trade. Like, that city doesn't have trade. Oh, right, right, right. We for sure don't? The city doesn't have any resources, so why would it have any trade? We've been going nowhere. Shall we? It turns my stomach, but I have no choice. But if we, uh, I guess. I take much joy in this. Ooh. Oh, that's one of the most uncomfortable kinds of calls, I guess. As long as it's not, you know, life-threatening topics, uh, this one is up there. <laughs> Your insurance. Yeah, I get mm. that. Not fun. Never fun. 
Mm. Yeah, we'll never get there. But it's okay. Oh! oh. Well, we're barely making it into the last <laughs> era. And this could be good to get a trait, though. Their uh, unique trait. 10% money on all cities is pretty good. Mm -hmm. China might help and us be also, number one. Uh, I, I know um, the top submission used the Indians because they Wait. also have a money bonus in the uh, legacy trade. Plus 2% ah, okay, for it's not good for us because of our influence. We have no influence. Yeah. Our influence is bad. No, I think we'll be the Chinese because money. I mean, a flat 10% is pretty good. Human mind. Hello again, Arm Devil. And Welcome in. Every human Super Mario Bros. movie is out now. Mm. Oh, right. I had already completely forgotten that they made a new one of those. <laughs> for hope. Looking forward to a future which, for luck, will be counted in millennia. We go slash people with his lightsaber. Gleaming metropolises and endless mm. factories. Nice. The outsourcing business is going to go oh, yeah, we're making 11,000. Yes, nice. Yeah. Cultural Ooh. trait. Mm. Oh, what do you lot? Intelligence Coalition. What does this one do again? See each other's stealth units. Uh, sure. I'm curious if they have stealth units. They do. Look at that. What are you? Little prowlers. Fun. Uh, uh, but, you know, if you look at that peninsula there, they seem to be following a, a similar strategy as us in Memphis, a little further north. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is Moneyland 2.0. <laughs> Endless Legend 2 win, though? Someday. Someday the answer will be maybe yes. <laughs> Distrust. Gee, I wonder why. Uh... Oh gosh, yeah. Okay, well, let's see here. Industrial age push. Uh, oh no, we definitely can't accept that. We definitely can't. Sorry. Refuse! Alright, we got two more turns. I think we can just end turn here. Uh, or should we make some of these? Well, how much money can we get out of making these? I don't know. Well, well, click on it and get the preview. <laughs> it's not telling me anything. But no, I mean you need to click to. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. You're saying on the map. I yeah. okay. Some of these infrastructures have previews. Those are districts. Yeah, I understand. I, I think it's just getting. In too my late. mind, I was thinking it was an infrastructure. No, but I guess it's just getting a bit late. Yeah. So you can't tell a hexagon from <laughs> square. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Squares have six edges, you right? You know, you know, I have, I have things. Um, oh gosh. So. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure there's some weird mathematical shape where you can have 90 degree angles and still have six edges. Yeah, agreed. After all, you know, if you draw 90 degree angles on a globe, you get a triangle. True. Or at least you can get a get a triangle. If all of them are 90 degrees, you will have a triangle. Confirm that. Confirm that. Confirm that. So we have two turns. I just am trying to see how much we can actually... Because some of these market quarters aren't going to be worth it. And we can get these congresses out pretty quick. Money land. Welcome to money land. Money, 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 money land. Have you ever been to money land? It's a great place. Come down to money land. Excuse me. Okay. So I think what we'll do here is we'll end the turn. Wait. What about you? What do, you do you have a money land? Ew. That's Only not 19. great. I think the market orders are better. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll end turn, and then turn 24, here's what we gotta do. Uh, Rob Zick, the only information I can share about the next update or, or patch is 
that you will have more information about that relatively soon. But I can't go say any more. So wait, on turn uh, 75, do I then switch everybody? Once it is turn 75? And then on turn 75, I know? Or is it turn 45 going into 75? Uh, that, I think it's at the end of turn 75 that it uh, checks the victory. But chat probably knows better. Because chat, is it? Fr frankly, I use the turn timer way too, too seldomly. Okay. I, f I mean, to me, it makes a little bit more sense having it be at the end of turn 75. Yes. But in any case, you could probably click the buyout button in a lot of places. Yeah, that's kind of the idea that I'm going for here. Uh, 16. These are not great. You arrived at turn 75 and then you click the button and the game ends. Okay. Okay. Well, in so that next case, turn we shift everybody over. We, yeah, we'll go with, uh, I guess, make a population. Because that's one more money. That's one time. more <laughs> money, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, but I can buy out stuff on that turn. Oh, but it doesn't update the... I'll buy out everything this turn. Wait, but that's still like 10,000 more. If you buy everything out this turn, you make more money on the turn rollover and might be able to afford even more next turn. Right, you're right. Okay. Let's start buying out Congresses. We got the Congresses in Dangly. And we got... No Congresses in Bits. We got the Congress in Chami. Okay. What turn is it now? It turn 74. 74. Oh, did I not go for that? Okay. Um, we'll get that one. Oh, come on. Well, at least it should be reasonably priced to buy out. I guess. <laughs> okay. And then up here in Moneyland, we need to go boop, shaboop, shaboop. Ah, who knew? Yay! Okay. Shapoopy, shapoopy. It's good enough for me. <gasps> no, okay. Oh, actually, ah! stability, that's gonna. Catapult of stability through the roof with all yeah, these that's market pretty good. <laughs> like all of them are like half off now as uh, far as stability goes is concerned. <laughs> Rob's like, my cat looks hungry and just staring at me. I have nervous. <laughs> yeah, I can, can understand that. Okay, so, so we need to decide if we want <laughs> run yeah. war slaves. Yeah, given, given what happened a couple of turns ago, <laughs> I, I think it's very firmly established how what our kind economy of a, runs. Yeah, what, what kind of a people we are. Okay, so I think that we could potentially buy out like one more thing, maybe. No, I think they're all too expensive. Do we have all of the trade routes going that we can? That's a good question. Let's double check everybody's trades. You are all traded up. You... Are all traded up. You are all traded up. You have some saltpeter that I would like to have. Mm. How about you, huh, Mama? Mama Okolo. She's trading all her stuff with me. And we got some iron. I uh, know that's that something we already she bought somewhere else. And I think this is the one that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably something like this. Yep. Okay. Oh, one more player left. And then. The Mongols. I am so to greet you. Oh. oh, we, we already bought it. those from the green player, I think. Okay, cool. All right, let's end it. Then the turn. Why do I have a carnivore as a pet? This is your last turn. The game has reached a turn limit. You will be remembered as illustrious. Jordan Allen. All right. How far off are we from actually making it to the podium? Um. Oh, wow. I mean, I was hoping. Third place, you mean? Yeah, and I was hoping that oh maybe if we you know buy out a couple of districts, the fame will be enough. No, if it's like eight hundred fame, we'd need to get like three stars. So which one of these cities has the cheapest market quarters? I guess. I think that's pretty cheap. 
Money, Moneyland's got some expensive. Mo mon Moneyland is pretty big. Yeah. All right, everybody to the economy. No, that's that's the wrong control. I would say the two expert and just drag money to the front. Okay. I mean, it's more or less the same outcome, right? No, here it stuck everybody in industry first, so you had 12 people not working money. Well, right, but then I moved them. Yeah, but, you know, just dragging... Because you're already an expert policy, just dragging the money forward is, like, the quickest way here. Nope, that one didn't take. Huh. Wow, we with all the market quarters, we really don't even have enough people to, to <laughs> <Yep>. man <laughs> all the bank outposts. That's kind of crazy, to be honest. Alrighty. And the grand total is... Drum roll, please. Well, we're not quite there yet. We don't have armies. Oh, you're right. We should disband everybody. That's just, just the army list. That's a good point. Um, Is there any quick way to disband no, everybody? No, but you can, can zoom to them and then you can disband them all. Okay. The spend. Oh, but does that get? Oh, I guess they'll automatically be put into money, though. I guess. Yeah, if they go back to the cities, then yes, they'll automatically be put into money because everything is set Let's to go. money. Let's go. Stop eating the gold. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating the gold and make some. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I need from them. I need them to go and start trading stock or something. Uh. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. what do I need to do next? I think that's it, right? I can't buy anything else out. Wait. Excellent. Yeah, Excel is, is oh, saying the money possible. dropped, and that makes no sense. I see possibilities. It said 16k before, and now it's 15.6k. Maybe that's there's something going on with, like, one of the trade routes? Oh. Yeah, it can't be from disbanding the units, because that reduces our upkeep. I don't know. I don't know, but we can't buy anything else. I mean, we if we check uh, the yellow and the brown player, there might be because there's two exclamation points. Maybe there's something going on there. Do we have a crisis. Aha! Well, she's not gonna do anything about it. Silly. There, now we're back up to 16.6k. So it wasn't the spending right. the units. There was a crisis. Uh, no, no, I know what happened, probably. We disbanded the units. She looked over there and was like, hmm. You have <laughs> no just, army to defend yourselves. He just Quick, put all make of his demands. <laughs> Alrighty, let's you do it. Not triumph, <laughs> the march of humankind is both long and difficult. Other names will be <laughs> What's up, uh, Pixel Monarch? How are you doing today? Cavalian King, welcome in, welcome in. A great part of your legacy. Neato, yeah. Equilibrium with which you created. You will be remembered. Wow, balance. I mean, we were we were full on like in open rebellion <laughs> in some of our cities for a while there. With the same awe that visitors felt when they saw the wonder you built. Magnificent. If there is another thing you should be remembered for. It is for the green, thriving world you leave to the <laughs> The green, thriving world is everything is covered in market quarters. Successful. History is certain on your dress. You participated in the longest war. Congratulations. Under your guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in your own words. There may be future adventures and deeds, and even grander scope for this grand story. All right, we're we're pushing we're pushing the time here. I'm gonna skip, but I think that's the last line anyway because you know okay. he, he he said the thing. Oh, he said the. <laughs> that's all we needed. All right, well we didn't get in the top three, but but we made a grand total of how much money per turn? I think you can go to skip. I didn't wanna. And then we can, you know, check the money. 
That's me. Yeah, I, I think, you know, 16 if, point. if we look at, at the money competition, that's, you know, we make more money per turn than all of the other empires combined. Um, but, yeah, all not, right. not, not enough compared to the submissions we've had. All right, oh, so if, you, if you're out there in the chat and you're thinking to yourself, I want to try and beat Jordan because I think I'm better than him. Then you need to go download the scenario from our blog on amplifiers and try and beat 16.6k? 16.6 thousand money per turn. And if you can do that, then you can tweet at me telling me that I suck at humankind. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic rest See of your you day. All. We'll catch you very soon. Uh, next Tuesday, we'll be back with another stream. And uh, thank, but thank you very much for being here. Um, <laughs> 16.6 K per turn. Yes, sir. I don't think I'm better than you, Jordan. Well, you might be better at humankind than me. <laughs> I appreciate that. I wasn't trying to make it a who's better person. I, I just am trying to challenge you all to be better at humankind. All right. Because I'm trying to be better. But oh, see you all. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. We love you. You're the best. And we'll catch you all very soon. Peace out.